93. This guy's whipping it in a black crown, Vic. I think that's him on the left lane there. Flying. San Andreas 535, 1050, southbound Route 15, nearest postal 403. Gonna be out with a black crown, Vic. If I can have one additional highway unit. 217, can you send on your location? Route 15, nearest postal 403, near the 247. 160 if you wanna roll this way. 74, I'll be in route cut there. 217535. Go ahead. Uh, we were just looking for a black uh, CVPI. If you could search the trunk, if he gives you permission. Copy. Do you have a 1028 for the vehicle? Negative. It came in through a 911 call. Copy. Be advised. The 1028 is going to be not a cop. One November Oscar Tango Alpha C Oscar Papa One. What the hell is C? Charlie? It's not Charlie. It is Charlie. Oh my god, I can't keep up with NATO. 535160. Go ahead. Can you repeat nearest postal again? Nearest postal 403, US Route 15, southbound towards the city on the 15. 10 4. Jack Hickens. Fuck off. 517535. Go 535. Uh, we've searched that plate. He comes back with extreme officer safety cautions. Copy 160, roll this way, 1018. 10 4, already in route 1019. Hi sir, Trooper Thornton, San Andreas Highway Patrol, how are you? I was doing pretty good till I saw your flashing lights. Yeah, you. I clocked you doing 93 and a 60, sir. You got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on the vehicle on you? Yeah, yeah, let me grab that for you. You just trying to get back in the city, sir? Yeah, I just had some business to take care of out in the county, so heading back to the city. Right, alright. Um, any reason why you're in such a hurry? San Andreas 160, show me I just kind of guess I lost track of how fast I was going. Alright, just hang out here and I'll be back with you, okay? Alright. Hey, true. Yeah. The car's a little banged in my eyes. Um, his ID is Jack Hickens. He doesn't have a valid license. Um, and there's nothing here to say that's the car from the city, but I'll Jack. try and get him to open the trunk anyway. I'll try and get him out of the car. Jack, what was the name? Hickens or Hawthorne? Hickens. Hickens, okay. H I C K E. H I C K E N S. H I C K E N S, okay. Mr. Hickens, do you just mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? We just got an issue with your license, okay? It's coming up as it's not valid, okay? So we just need to sort that out. Mr. Hickens, can you step out of the vehicle for me, please? Well, that seems a bit weird. It should be valid. Well, if you just step out of the vehicle, sir, and come and sit in my passenger seat, we can get it all squared away. You got no weapons on you or anything like that, sir? I think I got a handgun on me. Alright, whereabouts is the handgun? If you're gonna search me. 
in the glove box. All right, as long as it stays in the glove box. Do you have an issue, sir, if we just check the trunk of your car? We don't need to search it, we just want to have a quick look in there. Is that all right? I mean, there's no reason for you to go searching through my trunk. All right, just come back with me. We'll sort out your license then. Just take a seat on my passenger seat there, sir. Alright, I'll just swivel the MDT your way a little bit. See how it's saying there? Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, you know so. What saying there, trooper? So it's saying your DO isn't valid, sir. So, is it meant to be valid? I mean, it says it's valid on my end. Alright, hang out then. <laughs> Alright, must have been a computer glitch there. It's coming up green now, so that's all good. Perfect. He was doing 95 and a 60, 93 and a 60, so what's that, 33 over the limit. $5,000 citation. What's up? Trooper, did you say something? Uh, yeah, I actually have a question for him. Um, so sir, do you... Is there any particular reason why you have a duffel bag in the back seat? There's a no one call earlier about a vehicle match in this description. Yeah, it's got some gym clothes in there. Okay. What gym do you go to? If you don't mind me asking. No, my, my apartment complex has a has a gym. Okay. And do they not have on site laundry? Well, they do, but I was in a hurry, and I had to leave right after my workout. Doesn't so have a CCW. Mm. Alrighty. Um, Mr. Higgins, you don't have a um, a permit to carry a handgun, and you just told me you had a handgun in the glove box of your CVPI. That so? Mm-hmm. He meant to have one of them as well? Is that, is that going to be a computer glitch as well, sir? Maybe. Alright. What, what's, what's really in the duffel bag? Clothes. Because I'm going to be honest with you right now, okay? Be careful. I've got you doing 93. In a 60, okay? I can arrest you for reckless and careless driving if I wanted to, okay? Right now you're in a bit of trouble because you've also got a firearm that you've said is in the vehicle, but you don't have a, we a weapons permit to actually carry that weapon, okay? So my next question to you right now, is there anything in that car that shouldn't be inside the vehicle? No. There's absolutely nothing, apart from the handgun that's in the glove box. Nothing. What sort of handgun is it? Your standard run of the mill handgun. Go on ahead go ahead and step out for me, Mr. Higgins. Just face that way. Hey, just face your car. Sorry. Stop, stop. No, stop. stop. Mr. Stop. Higgins. Stop. 
You're not getting in the vehicle. 535, one tase, roll as another unit. Well, that seemed a bit extreme. Yeah, you were, you were told to stop a couple times, and you don't want to stop. That's a problem, bud. Alright? What, what were you doing? Mr. Hickens, what were you doing? What were you getting absolutely just thinking? You thought you'd get in the car on a traffic stop. Yeah, I thought I could get in my car. I just told you to face the car and don't move and you walked and got in the car. 217-525. Go ahead. Is there a problem possible. with that? Closest postal is going to be 403 I mean, I really out of the car, so I thought if I got out of your car, I'd be able to get in the car. I'd be able to get in the car. I'd be able to get in the car. I'd be able to car. We did not tell you explicitly. Alright, let's back just get him off the side team. of the road. I don't want him in this squeeze bar here, and I'm a bit that close. Works. Just move to the towards that the trooper, sir. Oops. Come on over this way. Go ahead and sit right there Stay for right me. There. Just sit right there for me. So what's going to happen now is we're going to search the car now, we're going to confiscate the weapon that you've said is in the glove box, and we're going to search the duffel bag, okay, and the trunk and everything else. Five thirty five, roll one EMS this way as well for taser prongs. So why did you think it was a good idea to get back in the car? Five thirty five. I think he's typing. Duffel bag and back seat. Places has... to be. Places to be, okay. I have a cash and a duffel bag in the trunk is also full of cash. Alright. But when a police officer tells you to stop, you don't you don't you just stop, okay? You don't do whatever you need to do because you could have this could have ended a lot worse. We didn't we didn't know if you were going for a gun or not, you could have been shot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Next Next time a police officer tells you to stop, just stop. Otherwise, this could have ended a lot worse. Ooh wee Alright, so... I found a lot of cash in both duffel bags. How much cash are we talking? Or just a lot in general? Let me... Let me go ahead and try and count how much is there. What's with all the cash in your car? What cash? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what we're talking about, okay. Nope. So, there's no particular reason as to why you hit, especially in the one in the back seat, you hit a layer of clothing over top of the cash that was underneath. 217 will be on team. No reason whatsoever. Okay. And this totals around a hundred thousand dollars worth of cash. That's a yeah. Is that's that what it's looking like in the duffel bags? A hundred thousand. Yeah, that's what it's. Yeah, combined about a hundred thousand. Hey, hey. All right, Mr. Higgins, I'm not trying to screw you over anymore. Okay, we, we know you're doing some illegal activity. Okay, there's a hundred thousand dollars sitting on the hood of my car right now, roughly. Okay. There's probably, there could even be more money there, right? You've got an unregistered gun in your golf box, and you tried to get back in your car after I told you to stop. So come clean with me and I'll try and help you out, okay? But you need to be really honest and tell me exactly what's going on. I mean, if I'm moving that much cash, I'm gonna have a gun. It's not, you know, somebody might rob me. Okay, that's understandable. But why have you got that much cash on you? What was that? It's my job to move money. It's your job to move money. 
All right. Well, this officer here knows a lot more about um, the money than I do. I only pulled you over for the speeding, so he's going to have a chat to you, okay? His name's Jack Hickens, hey. officer. Okay, how's it going? I mean, how do you think it's going? <laughs> well, I suppose it could be better. What's going on tonight? What are you? Hello? Uh, I reckon he's doing some. He's probably. Uh, yeah. Yep. Texting. I got no serial number on my phone. That's that's not loaded, good for you, man. Loaded and no serial number. So we've got 93 and a 60. You speeding. We've got a heap of cash. What looks to be over a hundred thousand dollars and a gun without a serial number. And then this officer has. He wants to talk to you about something that happened in the city. It's not looking too good for you, Mr. Hickens. Well, what happened in the city? All right. So where are you coming from? I, I had some errands to run out in the county. Out in the county? So you weren't in the uh, city at all today? I, mean, I was in the city earlier before I went out to the county to run my errands, so now I'm on my way back into well, town. Uh, what is the uh, money packaged in? Packaged in two duffel bags. Two duffel one bags. had all their clothing over, over top of it. Yep. Alright. We actually had a call on you earlier. Somebody uh, saw you out near park, loading some bags in your car, looked out of place. I suppose you were out of place now that we uh, know what's in them. So you're telling me you weren't in the city at all today? Well, no, I said I was in the city earlier today before I went oh, out to the county today. to run my errands. All right, were you, were you up in Mirror Park? Well, I might have cruised through that area. All right, where'd you pick up the money from? I have an address, so you can just be clean with me. Hmm. One more, one more time, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. An undisclosed location. Undisclosed. An undisclosed location, right? So you, you guys definitely got charges for him. Um, we got yeah, we reckless did. driving, resisting. We got a couple. That's about it. Oh, and then we've got the Siri, the gun, and then we've got yeah, the gun uh, over a hundred thousand dollars, yeah. what looks to be, and no background on. You know, no background context on what it's doing in the car. Yeah. Do we have the uh, description, or at least, officer, do you have the description of the suspect from, like, Mirror Park or that? Nah, all we got was a black uh, Ford Crown Vic loading too many duffel bags into the trunk. Yeah. How many was too many? Did they, did they say specifically? Because I only found two. What the hell am I doing? Looks like you're trying to ring someone. Uh, there. no. Yeah, no, they didn't specifically say how many. That was my question too: is how many is too many? But call came in, so we investigated it. Well, kind of matches the description: black CVVI, two duffel bags. It really does. He was in the city earlier. Was his tail light out when you stopped him? No, this trooper decided no, to give the car a good beating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was on my end. That, yeah. I think he's. I think he likes to uh, so over there on that bit of gravel. And his flashlight just went bang on the back there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tried uh, to stop happened. myself, and yeah, and I hit the tail light instead of actually stopping myself. So. So we can call the uh, FBI and see if any of these numbers come, like the serial numbers on the money, comes back to any robber, outstanding robberies. Other than that, I mean, it's not illegal to drive around a trunk full of cash. Mr. Hickens, last chance. You want to come clean with us and we'll try and help you out and get rid of some charges, or do you want to just keep remaining silent? I said it's my job to move money around. I don't ask where it comes from. Alright, where'd you pick the money up from? A house. Don't give me the Mirror classified version. Yeah, okay, there it is. Mirror Park. All I right. just said a house I, in Mirror I know. Park. I I'm happy. You're starting to be honest now. It's good. Who do you work for? Well, I don't know that. Alright, I'm just going to tell you some things real quick. At this time you are being placed under arrest, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand? 
Yeah, I understand. Do you still wish to talk to us? I don't really have much else for you. Well, let me tell you this. If you can give me who... Who, who sent you to get the money? If you can give me some people up the chain a bit, I can get rid of some stuff for you and help you out. You help me, I'll help you, sort of thing. Well, I don't have any names. Okay, so how do you get told to go and do this and that? Somebody, you know, sends me like a little email from an anonymous address. Right, so it's all done just over text and or mail anonymously. Yeah. How'd you end up getting this gig? This job? Hey, you said he had a gun on him? Yeah, no serial numbers on it. It's in the glove. It was in the glove box. No CCW either. Nope. Nope. I'm on hold with the FBI, waiting for their response. Uh, that might take a while. Bureau bureaucracies tend to take a while. Yeah, it could be an ongoing investigation. You have like clam up and they say they've got nothing or they know nothing, and then all of a sudden they come down and take all our evidence. Well, his rap sheet definitely yeah. doesn't make him look very well. I noticed that too, to be honest. I would use up all the printer just to print that out. And, well, <laughs> I might as well start logging some of the evidence here, so I'll yeah. get my clipboard and that. Locals are a bit maniac today. Yeah. So, okay. So, so um, I can't remember if you nothing... answered me or not. But did you, like, how did you, how did they find out about you, and you ended up getting this job to cart around the money and stuff? I answered a help wanted ad on Craigslist. So you, you saw a job listing on Craigslist, and what exactly did it say? Yeah, it said pick up packages and deliver them. You didn't think that was a little bit odd? I mean, it paid cash. Money's talk. Even if it's illegal and you're already a criminal with a felony record? Well, yeah, you know, felony records make it hard to get a job, so... Right, so your solution was go and do a job that sounds sketchy and dodgy and possibly go back to jail. That was your solution? Yep. Wow. That was. You're <laughs> Stand up for me, sir. That IQ and logic just hurt my head. Right, so, Tom? Yeah. Good, good news for him. Uh, none of that money comes back to uh, any wanted robberies or un unsolved robberies. But, uh, well, let me just pull that out real quick. The, uh, some of the bills are traced, or are being tracked by their drug or narcotics unit for a, they got, well, they went missing in a drug deal that went bad. Oh. So basically he's got stolen money, stolen property. In well, apparently he, he got this job, this gig of picking up packages and stuff for cash off Craigslist. And although it seems sketchy and all that, and he's already a felon, you know, he thought, oh, why not? Because it's hard to get a job with a felony record, so I'll go and do something dodgy and possibly go back to jail. That's that's the motive. You're telling it. me I can go on the internet and find a job that just gives me cash? Well, this this gentleman right here just apparently did. But now he's going to jail, so that I wouldn't recommend it. That seems so believable. Well, yep, nope, money stolen. Well, I only have charges for him for um, speeding, which I was only going to give him a citation. So do you want to arrest him? Because to me, you have a bigger crime in terms of this money and stuff. Yeah, I, I got possession of stolen property. So you want to take him? Because at the moment, the, yeah. all I have uh, is a speeding ticket don't and the gun. What about the registered firearms? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah that's can, nothing yeah, compared to the money. Can, uh, the money's a lot more of a right. case than the gun. That is true. Yeah, I'll take him. You want any of us to head down, or, do you, or are you going to be fine? Because like I said, it's only a citation I was going to give him. 
He's I'll in probably end up. I mean, he's got officer safety cautions, but he's not gonna. What's he gonna do? Strangle me with the handcuffs? All right, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna I'll give you. Have you got a set of cuffs? So. You can put yours on. Yep. Yep. Don't even try and run or do something stupid, Mr. Hickens. Has he been searched, full body? Uh, Trooper. I haven't searched I'm just gonna double check before you get in my car. Alright, I'll call for the team. Anyone in the area of the last known position, I'm missing person. Yeah, that gun that's supposed to be in the glove box. Okay. Yeah, Anything else on you? the evidence right now. And a phone. Five thirty-five. Can you roll us one ten seventy to our location four zero three southbound Route fifteen for a Black Crown Vic? God, that fucking thing is fucked. <laughs> All the evidence and everything's definitely out of this car. Yep, I just I just grabbed the pistol and the fifty thousand dollars back from the market money that he had in his vehicle. Go up hit that. The car was not this fucked when I saw him, so I'm just gonna fix it. We might even turn it off for him. Get off the road, rabbit! Get off the road, bunny. Get off the road. You'll get run over. Get off the road. Dumbass. Which is going to be the uh, 50,000 dirty money. All right. I'll make sure that gets into evidence. Yeah. Uh, what I'll, about the gun? Oh, I, the... I have the gun. You got me the gun. I got the gun over in my trunk right now. I'll get you the gun right now. Oh, I have his bullets, my bad. Yeah. You got enough room in your little trunk back there for duffel bags? It's pretty small. It is a small trunk. It's one of the most down downsides of those fusions, you know? Yeah. I'll have to throw it in the passenger seat. There, there's one, and there's you. Alright. Alright, um... I'll give you a copy of the citation that I was gonna give him. Okay. I'll just give you. I've yep. already got it typed up and all that. I'd printed it earlier. Um, so just throw that on right. his arrest. You know what I mean. Just pass it to yep. him. Sign it when he's done. You got it, sir. It's a five thousand dollar citation. San Andreas one one zero is gonna be ten thirty seven tonight. Uh oh. Metro two one seven. I'll be ten fifteen with one new mission route. All right. So we just we printed this off. So we'll sign it. Charlie will get him to sign that down at the station. If he doesn't want to sign it, then could be another charge, I guess, for Mr. Hickens. So, whatever. Looks like they're taking off. We're going to wait for the tow truck, which one of these tow trucks. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we're going to be 10 out off that, guys. We're just waiting for the tow truck.